we're going to talk about air filters um, for the Santis 310. Normally you would buy an air filter. It comes in a pack. It costs about 30 euros or 25 English pounds. And uh, as all you know, stupid prices for paper element air filter. Um, these have a on the Santis. They have the push in that way, and they have a rubber edging all the way around it. I um, might just put a screw on mine to get this one out when I change it for the new paper air filter but I'm not going to use paper air filters anymore but I'm going to use a housing um, mainly because um, ram air do foam so you can use ram air foam which is this baby um, this is two elements so you've got a coarser one and not so coarser one so it goes in that way around so the, so the slightly non coarser goes first and then filtration of the air filter goes through to the next stage where it's coarser and this cost seven pounds seven eight euros seven English pounds and you can get one two three air filters out of it easy as that by just changing the paper element over by using glue and a standing knife and that's all you need I'd already started doing this one because I started recording earlier um, and <laughs> I forgot to put my SD card in. So, uh, this paper element I started recording. So, you just use a standing knife to go down the edge, and the paper element goes to the top, to the ridge there, and to the bottom. And basically, you go around all the edge, all the four edges with a standing knife, and you eventually get your paper element out of the housing. Because the housing is what you need, because the housing is the correct size. That's the top of the air filter, which is pretty clean. Underneath, dirty, dirty air filter. And all that stays in the folds on, on a paper element and blocks and stops the air filter, airflow through. And your engine works on spark, air, and fuel. And if you if you want to give it more gas, you need more air going through as well as spark and fuel. So the better air you have the more power you'll get out of your bike and because these have got all get blocked from underneath where the air is coming through stops all the larger particles it uh, and it's folded continued like that it stops the air going through so that's why uh, ram air foam filters are better uh, right so now that's out of the way um, like I said one the one in the bike is a paper one when I've done this and got this ready I'll switch it over and then I'll make another one out of the ram air foam and you get ram air foam on ebay quite easily uh, so this, the easiest way is first is to get the sand knife and go around but then you get all this paper crud on there you've got to try to go like that with your knife you never get it off just use your knife on the top and whiz it down it's only glue with a bit of paper it's like glue what they put like zzz, glue in little waves and lines but just uh, get it all off so it's, so it's neat like this side here and then you're ready to go to the next stage but I'm going to clean this up a bit longer so there's no point you're watching that so I'm going to pause it for now see you in a bit as you can see the best way of use sandpaper I'm going to get some sandpaper right in a minute try that but just give it a whiz and I'll leave it to tear off so now I've got the glue it's a glue will not come off anyway and you eventually end up with it nice and clean I'll get some sandpaper in a minute but I'll see you in a bit right that's going to be as clean as I need it um, because the top edge is all nice and clean Sorry. <laughs> moving that out of the way <laughs> the top edge is all nice and clean I'm not too impressed about the bottom because this ram air foam filter is going to go down about halfway um, so the ram air foam filter I'd just lay it on not to the edge edge like that I would make sure it's a bit further down a bit further in so you don't, so you don't cut too silly and let's mark your other edge and your bottom and uh, that's it fingers crossed we should be nearly there 
Okay, I've rough cut the uh, part out by laying this part on top, as you can see there, and then just marking it with a little bit of a standing knife and cutting it with a pair of scissors. Marked it slightly that bit a bit bigger, and fingers crossed now this should just slot in to this. Make sure you put the, you know, the, the thinner part, the, the, the more aerated below. So this is the top, more aerated below. And just uh, have a look and see if it goes in. If it goes in nicely, nicely to the edge, all the way around, then you know, because you want it snug. And that is snug, there's a bug in a rug. So now, what I can do is lay some glue. I'm going to have to do this by myself because I can't do it with the camera. I might put my headset on so you can see. Um, two ways of doing it, either lay glue all the way around or pinch it up, put a bit of glue and lay it back down. I think I'll do that, pinch it up, lay it back down. So basically you've got your glue, put a bit of glue on that edge there and then you you know you pinch it up like this and just lay it back down to stick it. And do again there, stick it all the way around. Right, so I'll see you in a minute. Didn't get this working. Oh, fingers crossed. Right, I've glued a couple of edges. I've just got to glue the central part now, here. I hope you can see, because I'm just holding it back and I'm sticking a bit of glue on this edge here. Making sure I get the top of the edge and the corner. Get the glue off and then that's it when I want it, because the screw is going to hard anyway. That's cool. Swipe off the excess. Just try to it up a little bit. That's it. Bring it back a little bit. That's it. <sighs> Nearly finished. Got this side to do, that there, and just this one here. Right, I'm going to concentrate for a minute so I don't get glue everywhere. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, finished. Let's make sure it's stuck all the way around by just pulling it. There, like that. Let's make sure there's no gaps because you know you got it's going to be sucking air, so it's going to be you can feel it going like that. It's going to go like that. No fingers underneath, but that's sucking air through. So you just want it to be a malleable move, but you want it to be stuck on all the edges. And I've got a little tear there, so I might just put a little bit in there. Glue. But yep, she's stuck on all the edges. So there you go. So instead of paying £25 now, you can get one, two, three out of Ram Air Foam Filter and uh, do your own. Have fun. But uh, save money. That's brilliant, isn't it? Three, two, two and a half pounds, three euros each using the housing and just some Ram Air Foam Filter. Cool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.